All right, so this is going to be all the collectibles for Chapter uh, Chapter 2 uh, for the Resident Evil 4 Remake. And the first area you start out in is actually a, the abandoned factory. So there's going to be a Sapphire, a Merchant Request, the Elegant Mask, but you can't get it right now. You need a you need a small key. Uh, so yeah, that's all that's all the for the abandoned factory. Uh, but yeah, so just walk straight forward. This is in the um, this is actually in the, the the furnace room where the two furnaces are. So just walk straight forward and then go to the second one and break off. You know, break off to the left and go to the second one. And the sapphire's in here. And then the first rat is right. You can. The first rat is right in front of you when you enter the room. The second rat is right at the right near the window. And then the third rat, just jump out the window, and it just go around this corner, and it'll be in this area. You just gotta be careful, because if you get any close to them, they'll run off. They don't. They don't go anywhere. Like they don't like run around the entire room, but they'll they'll just scurry around. And then the elegant mask is actually in the room where you, where you get Leon's gear back from. Like, so in this room. In this drawer on the right, but you know, again, you can't you can't do anything with it right now because you need the key. All right, so, <coughs> all right, so this is going to be all the all of the collectibles for the valley section of the uh, of the the valley section of chapter in, in chapter two. So there's not going to be much here. There's only going to be a ruby and the small key. You need to open the drawer in the abandoned factory, which has the uh, which has the elegant mask inside of it. So. As soon as you get here, just walk straight forward and then break off to the right, and then go around the side of the, go around the side of this building and then jump through this window. Uh, you can't go through the you can't go through uh, this door because it'll be locked. So just unlock it to make it like when you get in here, just unlock it just to make it easier on yourself. But anyway, just walk straight forward and then look to the left and inside this chest is the small key. And then go out, go out this door, and then just walk straight forward, and then break off to the left, and then immediately turn around, uh, go to the right, uh, and you're gonna need to go this way in order to, in order to get to, in order to get out anyway, you know, to open the gate. But just keep, keep going straight forward, and then you'll get to the top here, and then open up this treasure chest, and the ruby will be inside of it. So yeah, that's all the collectibles for this part. Yeah. So this is going to be the elegant mask uh, inside the abandoned factory and like all you need to do is like just come back just come back uh, after you cleared out the valley and you've gotten the key and just walk straight forward and go into the go into the room uh, go go through the door uh, and then break off and go into the room where Leon found his gear and the drawer will be right here on the, on the left and then just just use the key to open the just use the key to open the drawer All right, so that's all the collectibles for this part. All right, so this is going to be the final, like the last part of uh, chapter two. You know, all the collectibles for the last part of chapter two. And there's going to be a couple sapphires, the second clockwork castellan, a ruby, and a small key, which you can use to open the. Because in chapter three, you do go back to the village. You can use the small key to open up the drawer that has the vintage compass inside of it so just walk straight forward and you know uh, unlock this gate first and then walk straight forward and then you're gonna need to be careful there are gonna be a couple enemies here and a couple bear traps so be careful about that so walk straight forward and then you know break off to the uh, break off to the left and then duck down underneath underneath these crates and the the sapphire will actually be in a uh, in this little treasure chest right here and then just keep going you know just go out the way you came in uh, and then head up the stairs and you want to be careful because like in this next area there's going dr. Salvador is going to show up so you're gonna have to fight him this next area this is going to be there's going to be a there's going to be another sapphire here a there's going to be another sapphire here the second clock clockwork Castellan and a and a pearl pendant so just walk straight forward and then you know 
just keep going go straight a look just keep going straight and then look look straight up once you get under once you get right here and shoot shoot down this uh, this container and there's another sapphire and the the second clockwork is selling just break off to the left inside of the shack and then go inside of it and turn around or then turn to the right a little bit and it, it, it'll be right here And then the and then the pearl pendant is going to actually be in this be above this thing of dirty water. So shoot the board down so it doesn't fall in. Then shoot it down. All right. So and you know oh, all right. So this is going to be the. Uh, so just go on just go on from this area, and you know just walk just walk go the way you normally would and be careful. This is where Doctor Salvador is going to going to be you know see his dead body right there so and there's also going to be a tripwire you can actually knock him back into it but anyway you're going to end up at the chief's manor and you're going to need to go around the side and be careful there's a lot of bear traps here and some of them are kind of hard to see you know so um just walk straight forward and go around uh and you'll end you'll eventually end up at this door go inside the door and the ruby will actually be right here inside this drawer and then just walk straight forward a little bit, and then break off. Not go to the shabby. Someone has shown up their neighbors. Just walk straight forward into this dining room, and then you know walk to this far corner. The small key will be right here, and there is the antique camera, and I will show you where exactly it is. But you can't get it yet. You need to come back in chapter five, and you have Ashley with you because you need to boost her up. But yeah. So that's all the that's all the collectibles for chapter two. You know? So, alright.